Yes guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. It is Audit in Yorkshire. So, um, I am at uh, Halifax today at the Bankfield Museum. Now, this is a lovely building. I'm going to be showing you uh, the inside first and then we're going to be going around the exterior. Um, I was going to put this into, uh, do a really nice video of this place, but unfortunately we're having some um, refurbishment work done around the front of the building and the scaffoldings and stuff like that so it's out of commission temporarily uh, I am going to be getting some drone footage for and then uh, sort of rolling it all into one uh, but yeah we'll go inside we'll have a look round and um, you know this museum is, is to some well to, to a lot of people it's going to be boring because it's about textiles and stuff uh, but local history as well so I'm I'm, um, I'm interested in the local history of this place as well so let's go inside and let's check it out guys so we are in the uh, lobby guys, or one of them, but there's, there's some rattling noises and stuff going on, sort of, in the background and the staff are trying to work out what it is so they can stop it, but I am in, um, I've asked them what the policy is on filming, um, and he's, he's gone to ask somebody, and he's, uh, he's going to see if it's allowed basically you know, because of commercial purposes and stuff. But I have told them it's not for, it's not for commercial purposes. I mean, I've only got a GoPro, it's not like I've come in with tripods and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, basically, uh, well, one of the guys said, oh, I noticed you were filming outside and stuff, so um, it, it might be a case of we'll let me, but it might be a case of the boat. So I might just have to take some pictures of this place. So, I'll tell you what we can do though. Duke Wellington's regiment. Yeah, we can kind of just crack on anywhere and sort of get as much as we can on camera. Look at that. It's beautiful, that not swords and Wow. 33rd and Waterloo, June 1815. That's beautiful. Hmm. Pick. Please pick up the handset to hear these stories. Press the button once and listen and once again to stop. Sergeant Major James Colbert, 33rd Regiment. Mm. See, this will be interesting to, you know, to, to, to specific group of people rather than everybody, you know. Some, some people who's been in wars and stuff like that will love this sort of stuff, so. West Riding Regiment, good look at that hat. That's a really old hat. Beautiful uniforms. Wow. There's a ring in there, I'm assuming that is of some importance. But yeah, I mean, feel free, guys, to to pause and read at your own leisure. But yeah, local history and textiles. This museum is about. 
Like I said, it's quite interesting, I think, personally. It's not going to be to everybody. decommissioned and stuff. Some more uniforms here. Old uniforms. 1914 to 15. 1916 to 18. Well, Jason Boys, what everyone's wrong with the back on it. <laughs> Uh, <coughs> if excuse me if anybody can give me any information guys trench warfare um, if anybody uh, is old enough to remember or if, if they know anybody who who was and they've got any information feel free to drop us a comment uh, tell me your stories tell us your stories uh, let us know what you think let us know if you know anybody who was in these wars. German machine gunner. Where's machine gunner body armor? Wow. That's, that's a piece of kit, it's about, I mean, you've got... Before my helpless sight, he plunges at me, guttering, choking, <coughs> drowning. If British Sentra, Sentra, um, Lance Corporal, the knife service, but tell you. It's a Burma war. Oh, these are pictures of real people. Suited and booted. Ready to go to war. Normandy. Yeah, like I said, guys, let me know if you was in these wars. Let me know if you know anybody who was in them. Um, all these metal cabinets, look. Absolutely fantastic. This is why I like to film, you see, because someone's left the work bag down there. And you never know what's in them. Your folks gonna go missing if you're gonna get the blame. But Northern Ireland. So I mean, even at this stage, guys, if we get thrown out, or well, not thrown out, but if we get asked to stop filming, you know, I've caught quite a lot already. Afghanistan, you know what I mean? Caught quite a lot already, and uh, yeah, Bankfield Museum in Halifax. 
What's the Yorkshire Regiment uniform? This is the Marble Gallery. Look at that. Like I said, it's just a shame, really, about the uh, construction work out front of the building. You know, look at that mask. Do not touch. Do not cross the line. <coughs> yeah, some of these pieces in here. Really old. So the marble, the, the marble gallery was once a conservatory of Edwin Elizabeth Ackroyd. Had large windows overlooking uh, the manicure large pond. Just read back your own leisure guys. What I'll do is as well when I get outside is I'll just add some information. Uh, a bit more in, in depth information about this place. Because we know it's textiles and local history, but just add a little bit more in depth information. feelings in here, I'm not going to lie to you. Yeah. chilly in here. The era. Oh, uh, we've got a chapel. The chapel were part of an early phase of development work at Bankfield commissioned by uh, Edward Acro between 1838 and 1851. Transformed it into a mansion reflecting its status as a local businessman. Mm. All right. That, that's interesting information. Uh, there's a church just out road actually. 
I think that might be part of this. Oh, this is a small chapel, this. Oh, wow. Look at these books. Wow. That is absolutely crazy. Look at this. Look at them. Look at the thickness of them, guys. Crazy. Toy gallery is temporarily closed. Link gallery. fashion gallery out. Wow, this is absolutely fantastic, you know. Fantastic. I'm going to get some pictures as well. Guys, I'm not too interested in fashion, as you can tell. So, but we'll have a quick look. try on. These costumes have been made by an historian costume maker and they're based on the original Bankfield Museum collection. Well and you can try them on. Let's try let's try one on then eh? so how's that look? Alright here here check this one out guys <laughs> Hang on a minute. Damn the sheriff, baby. Don't even fit on my head, look, it's that big. Uh, I think I'll stick to my cap. It fits, it fits a lot better. Look a nice house this one. <laughs> Don't wake the cat up, will ya? It's sleeping on bed. Right, I've just come back downstairs. And the uh oh we're in the pottery bit now, the pottery bit. 
So, education room. That's probably staff only because it's all locked up. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to set some pictures of this uh, beautiful place up here and then pick it back up. Right guys, so we are approaching the end, to be honest with you. I've just been going round, uh, taking some pictures. But yeah, we're approaching the end, so... It's not being bad, I've not really seen any other members of staff. No, no one's really said out to me. No, it's not been bad, it's not been a bad deal, I'm sure I've been watched on camera. Right guys, so we are done, uh, we've literally, we've covered the whole place, there's just one other place I want to show you, but I'm just going to spin my camera round, looking at me, um, there we go, I just want to get this in the shots very quickly, um, the reason I did that is because there's children in here guys, um, so I'm not going to do too much recording here, I just wanted you to... Have a look at this because it's the last room, basically. Uh, yeah. And we'll pick it back up when we're outside and I'll get the drone up in the sky. Yeah, so Cameron might die because it's on 9%. But we've just come out, guys. This is the side of the building. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go out front and show you it from very quickly <clears throat> like I said it is out of commission at the moment because we're having some kind of work done to the front entrance but usually when you come here what I'll do guys is I'll put the the address in the description of the video so if you want to come to this place it's in Halifax, it's just off Booth Town Road, you'll come up here and um, if if all this fencing and stuff's up still and this temporary sign, then you'll have to go around there to go in. If not, the main entrance is just under the archway. But I'm just gonna give some information, a little bit of information. what I found on Wikipedia and it's just basic stuff. So Bankfield Museum is a Grade 2 listed historic house museum incorporated a regimental museum and textiles gallery in Boothtown, Halifax. It's notable for its past ownership and development by Colonel Edward Ackroyd, MP and it's a grand exterior. Now the description I am going to put, uh, sorry the history I'm going to put in the description um, so yeah, go read back at your own leisure, I'll take the drone up and I'll pick it back up.
guys we're back down on the ground um like i said amazing museum it's a shame about the construction work uh, but what i'm going to do is i'm going to come back next year maybe springtime when it's a little bit warmer and a little bit nicer um make it into turn it into a nice little video like i did at cliff castle and kirk's Labber. um yeah got some fantastic drone shots uh, staff in here are really nice um filming's not a problem if you want to come along and film as long as you're not, you're not bringing tripods and stuff and um you're absolutely fine they're fine with youtube i've spoke to them off camera youtube's absolutely fine because they understand about you know it's the ad revenue what pay you know what pay you sort of thing and and, and not this video itself so yeah i'm glad to know um that they're, they're singing from the same hymn sheet um so to speak but yeah uh check out the uh, history in the description guys um don't forget to smash that like button comment and subscribe like i said these types of videos are not for everybody um but there are people out there who thoroughly enjoy them so it's, it's been my pleasure to bring this video to you today guys at bankfield museum in halifax so if you enjoyed the video please like comment and subscribe and i'll catch you all in the next one bye for now